Mushrooms are the fruiting bodies of fungi. They grow by decomposing organic matter or forming symbiotic relationships with plants. In this video, you will see how mushrooms are grown artificially without stress. The method of growing mushrooms artificially allows for year-round production and higher yields by creating optimal conditions for mushroom growth. The process of growing mushrooms artificially begins with preparing the medium or substrate which serves as a base for the mushrooms to grow on. The substrate is made up of sawdust, rice bran, sodium carbonate or limestone. These substrates need to be mixed in specific proportions, which I will explain. For every quantity of sawdust you use, 30% rice bran is added. For example, if you are using 100 kg of sawdust, 30% of rice bran which is 30 kg is required. And if you are using 50 kg of sawdust, 30% of rice bran which is 15 kg is added. The sawdust and rice bran are then mixed together with a small amount of limestone. Limestone or sodium carbonate helps balance the pH level in the sawdust and rice bran. The sawdust, rice bran and limestone are then mixed together with a small amount of water. After that, the mixture is bagged. Each bag requires 2 kg of the mixture. The bagged mixture is then heated, a process called pasteurization which is done to kill any microorganisms present in the mixture. The pasteurization process takes between 3 to 5 hours on high heat. After the pasteurization, it is left to cool off completely before introducing the seed, also known as spawn. The spawn is introduced into the mixture in the inoculation room. And the act of introducing the spawn into the mixture is called inoculation. The inoculation room must be clean, free from dust and well protected to prevent contamination of the medium. Pipes are fixed to the bags and foams are placed over the pipes, secured with rubber bands. The foams help filter the air that enters the media. These bags are then taken to a dark room where colonization takes place. When the media colonizes, they turn white. Once you notice this, you can proceed to remove the foams and expose them to cross ventilation and more light. The media are water that intervals using sprayers. 
With this, you are set for success. Harvesting is done at intervals for about two months. 